What's going on, y'all? This is Mike Brown, and I just wanted to welcome everybody back to the Art of Letting Go. I know it's been a minute. We all been on break, but we here together. So while I got your attention, please be sure to subscribe to this podcast wherever you listen to it. Like it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let other people know what you think. Um, share it with your friends. Share it with your loved ones. Share it with people that you think would just benefit from it. I appreciate y'all so much for being here. And this is the art of letting go. Yo, what up? This is Mike Brown, and this is the art of letting go. Man, it feel like it's been a long time since I said that. Um, but before we get too into the episode, I wanted to. I wanted to shout out everybody that's been listening to the show, everybody that just found the show. Um, Welcome back to everybody that's been listening for a while. Shout out all the international listeners, all the nurses, all the doctors, all the people that are uh, navigating this time, you know, uh, all this COVID shit and all that. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to me. Shout out to me for coming back, too. It's the art of letting go, y'all. <laughs> oh man, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Um, I needed a break, and I took that break. And so much life has came up during that time. So many experiences have came up during that time. And I guess I should start where we left off. But yeah, I took a break because I was feeling burnt out. Um, I didn't know where to go, what to do. And especially like, it's funny when I'm working, I have so much structure in my schedule and shit. But when school let out, and this happened to me, you know, uh, two years ago. But when school let out, I kind of just don't know what to do. And I was feeling a little, a little worthless and just not knowing you know, my value and shit. And I felt like I had to sit still in that. And the stillness was very uncomfortable. Um, I consciously chose not to create anything and to focus my time on doing something else. And, whew, man, it was hard. It was really hard. But it gave me a lot of time to really like just sit back and see what was important to me outside of that. And I spent a lot of time with my dog, um, shout out to Amore, and really just helping her grow and connecting with her. I don't know about helping her grow, um, but yeah, like just, it's, it's just showing me myself and, and how to love in a different way. She's showing me that. And um, it's been really cool, like, just spending a lot of time with her. Like, now that I'm going back to work, uh, shit, I'm the one ha- having the separation anxiety. <laughs> but, yeah, been, had spent a whole lot of time with Amor. Um, spent a lot of time, like, just being present and connecting with friends and shit. Like, being around my friends... Is probably what really got me through a lot of those feelings because, um, you know, just being in a space where you're sitting, at least for me, sitting with my thoughts and shit, and a lot of times things be negative. I got to hear something else. I got to be around something else. Um, I got to say things out loud. I've been working with a company, a nonprofit doing some social media work and I questioned if I was good enough for it and in questioning that I had to say it out loud and not only to myself but to the person that asked me to do the work I had to say it to them out loud and it sounded kind of crazy and um through all of all of this summer and the discomfort I feel like it brought me to a another place um to another season and this season really feels like confidence you know i've 
gone through waves and spurts of feeling good about myself. But man, right now I feel really good and I feel really confident in everything that I'm doing. And it's a beautiful thing. It's a really beautiful thing because it ain't nothing that nobody could tell me or I could tell myself that's going to steer me in a different direction right now. Like, I'm so sure of just all the things that I'm sure of. Um, went out to Joshua Tree with some friends to work on music. And I made a lot of music this summer. And, and it was it felt good to really reconnect with that medium of creation because... Uh, yeah, you know, I I be needing spaces to express myself. Like this podcast is really dope. It's it's really nice to have this space, but sometimes I don't want to just say it so plainly with my words and you know, um sometimes I I need to sit with the thought and and make it make sense. Because a lot of times this is just freestyled and just off the cuff, you know. So, you know, working on music, it felt amazing and it didn't feel like no pressure. And being in a space with people that give me the space to like, you know, be myself and, you know, pour into me and I pour into them because... You know, I've done a lot of creating alone, especially in music, because of my my own fears, my own insecurities of like, you know, what people would think about my music. Like if my music was rejected, it would be my feelings rejected. And to be so vulnerable in a space to express that to people, um, it, it was very freeing, you know, and... I feel like every time I felt some freedom this this summer, I just leaned more into it, you know. I ended up getting out of therapy. I feel like I'm 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 feel like I'm running a run on sentence right now, but you know this is this is just a stream of my thoughts, just a stream of my feelings, and I got out of therapy, and I did because I wanted to feel what it feels like to solely rely on myself and my tools and to not have this external safe space and to really feel and acknowledge that I am the safe space for me, you know, and accept that and recognizing that I was the safe space really really lets me feel that that freedom wherever I'm at and you know sometimes I can step out of it you know sometimes I might get distracted but I pull myself back and I got people around me that remind me those constant reminders you know one thing that I've learned is that if things make you feel good, whether it be people, places, or things, if it makes you feel good, you gotta follow that. And, you know, I am an introvert. I can be a loner, but I know those people that make me feel good, that I need to be around when I am feeling that, when I'm feeling like I need to be alone and it's not a good time to be alone, I know who to call. And I really appreciate those people so much. Um, But, yeah, now I'm relying solely on my tools. So, you know, it's probably going to be a lot of this, (laughs) a lot of podcasting. So I appreciate y'all for for being the ears for me, you know, and just listening to me and letting me work my shit out in real time because – yeah, I've been doing some work. Been doing some work. I've been in I was in therapy for 8 years and uh 8 or 9 years. And man, it's been a journey. And even being out of it right now 
like it's been so much just in the little bit bit of time I've been out I've been only out of it for a month and I've experienced so much in the in a month and my biggest thing is focusing on being present and I think that's what always brings me back and grounds me because you know I can be very empathetic of other people sometimes overly and I have to remind myself that like a lot of a lot of stuff is beyond my control and you know not mine to take on and like really understanding that has really been bringing a lot of peace to me um and it ain't easy it ain't easy at all but it's been bringing me a lot of peace to ask myself in all situations what does it have to do with me and if i don't have an answer i gotta let that shit go that's why this is the art of letting go <laughs> oh man but yeah now that we back i feel back in the swing of life to really get some shit going i went to hawaii with my family um it was a beautiful trip it was a beautiful time like just to really be with people i love and really focus on love man like everything i do i want to do that shit in love because it ain't no other way it ain't no other way and i receive so much of it that i gotta give it back out i gotta give it back so yeah we had a good time we didn't really do a whole lot um just just really enjoying each other's company and space and like really being vulnerable like it was it was cool to you know have moments of vulnerability with my family on this trip because yeah it just showed me how much we've all grown and how much we are grown and like I'm happy to be a part of that but yeah school is back in session podcast is back working on a lot of new shit and I'm here I'm here um y'all here we here so that's all I got for y'all today um I got some new guests coming on the show some some different topics and shit and it's gonna be good it's gonna be really good I feel energized and in a place to do all of this new merch coming soon too a lot of really cool merch um <laughs> and that's it man thank y'all so much for listening this is mike brown and this is the art of letting go and we back baby peace Thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of The Art of Letting Go. If you like what you heard, please be sure to like, subscribe, share this podcast wherever you think people could get access to it, man. I'm trying to grow this thing. So with your help, I know I can. Um, got some new merch coming out. Got all kind of new stuff coming out. We back, baby. Like I said, it's The Art of Letting Go. Thank y'all for tuning in. Get in touch, too. Let me know what y'all think of the show. How you feeling about the show? What you want to hear more of on the show? Got a phone line. Got an email. Got a social media. We here. Hit me up. Peace.